Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video I am finally trying the Pat McGrath Divine Blush Duos and one of the highlighters that came out as part of this collection. I was out of town when these came in and I've been trying to play catch up on all of the orders that I had placed to review. Anyways, these right here I am super excited about. I cannot wait to try them. I love Pat McGrath's blush formula, the original that she launched last year and so I'm hoping that this formula is similar and that we have some beautiful shades to try today. I did order my blushes when they first came out from the Pat McGrath website. There are six shades total. I ordered the four lighter shades in the collection and skipped on the two deepest ones because I'm probably not going to use them and these are expensive, <laughs> right? Besides that, she also launched some highlighters and I ordered the highlighter in the shade Lunar Allure. So I bought all of these the day that they came out from the Pat McGrath website was my point and they are now available at the Pat McGrath website and also Sephora. So I will have the blush links to both websites down below. So if by the end of this video you're interested interested in purchasing any of the blushes or highlighters that I'm about to show you, don't forget to shop using my links in the description box. Let's get started. The exterior packaging is very, very similar to the exterior packaging of her regular permanent blushes in her collection, except she changed the color from purple to pink, and these are Divine Blush Duos, so instead of one blush color, you are getting two blush colors in each one of these boxes. Besides that, once that you open it, you do also have the exact same blush packaging as her regular blushes, which is this black luxurious plastic packaging. And I know that when her permanent blushes first came out last year, a few of you commented that you didn't like the way that they opened and these open the exact same way. You have to press underneath and then it releases on top. I know that a few of you had said that they were a little bit too hard to open for you. I feel like at first I had a little trouble with it, but now I'm used to it and I can open them really easily. The individual blush duels, by the way, retail for $44 and I got four shades. So this one right here is Divine Rose 2 and I actually made a mistake and purchased two of this one. So I'm thinking I'll give one away to one of you. <laughs> we'll do a little tiny giveaway in this video and let's see, to enter, just comment down below why you watch my channel. So in a week and a half to two weeks from the moment this video is posted, I will pick a winner and the winner will get this beautiful blush. <laughs> the shade that I was the most excited about is this one right here because it has this like purple looking blush right here and this duo is called Venusian Sunrise. I also ordered this one right here. This one is called Cosmic Coral and I love it because it's got a little pink and a little brown and I feel like combined that is going to probably be right up my alley. I'm hoping. Ooh, I think this might be my favorite one I've seen yet because it's the lightest one probably. This one is called Aphrodite Amour and it's got like paler pinks in it and it looks so beautiful. This color is a little bit more like a cool tone pink and this one looks a little bit more like a peachy coral right here. I feel like for some reason the camera is not doing these justice. I filmed a clip trying two of them yesterday and in person this color right here looks purple. Uh, but it doesn't look purple on camera and you'll see once I apply it what it looks like. Ooh, the highlighter looks beautiful. So for highlighter, I picked the lightest shade which is called Lunar Allure and it looks amazing. I cannot wait to try it. It looks almost like silver. I love it. Because I ordered from the Pat McGrath website, they were actually having gifts with purses and I got this little lip duo. This is the Love and Lost Gloss Duo from Pat McGrath, which I cannot wait to try. The packaging is like little hearts. It looks so adorable. I've actually looked at these before on the website like should I get them? But I got them for free, so that's great. And then they also sent a sample of their Divine Skin Rose 001, The Essence, which also I have been dying to try because she makes it look so amazing on her Instagram account. And now I have a little sample size that I can try. I'll be trying this very, very soon. And it is so cute, the little sample bottle. I love it. 
So like I mentioned, because I had four blush duos to try for today's video, which equals eight blush shades in total, I tried a couple of them yesterday and I have a couple of them to try today. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you yesterday's footage and I'll be right back. Different day, different makeup. Here is the Pat McGrath Blush Duo in the shade Divine Rose 2. And I'm using my refer number 5 blush to apply it. I'm going to start with this part of the blush right here where the roses are. Super pigmented, just like I expected. And I'm going to place that right here towards the back of my cheek. Huh, surprisingly, that looks good <laughs> with this eye look. This pink shade is pretty intense. But I also picked up a lot and I think it could be softened with the same brush. I'm going into the lighter part now, which is a little bit peachier right here. And that is the part I'm putting towards the front and blending it. Honestly, that is a lot, like a lot more pigmented than I expected. So I'm going to blend it down in a second because that looks like a whole lot. Let me blend it down a little bit with my sponge. This is the sponge that I applied my foundation with and that is a lot more natural looking right there. Still a little bit too pink, a little bit too bright for me. Let's move on to the next one. I wiped off my brush and I'm going to do the other side with this shade right here which is honestly one of the ones that I've been the most excited about and even though it doesn't look it on camera, this is really purple. I don't know why it doesn't look it on camera. Maybe because I am wearing purple and like in comparison it's not as purple. But it's really purple. Like it has a true blue tone to it. So I'm intrigued for sure. This is the shade Venusian Sunrise. And I'm going to start with the flowers once again. This is what it looks like. This looks really pretty and peachy. Oh yeah. So far, love it. So I'm putting that on the apples of my cheeks and I'm going to go into the purpley side next. Look at that. And I'm placing that towards the temples. Wow, I feel like that purple made it look so much more pink. It almost looks like this one. That's a little bizarre. Here is the purple swashed. I'm wiping it off and I'm going to reapply my foundation because I feel like it shouldn't look that pink. I'm going to use a different brush just in case. We'll see. A little bit of foundation right there. All right, so with my refer number four blush, I'm going to reapply this blush because I just felt like it didn't look the way it should for some reason. It didn't look purple at all. Um, so this is my refer number four and it is clean. So I'm going to go with it in the purple shade once again right there and put it on my cheek. It just doesn't look very purple, but also, now that I see it, it does kind of look the way it looks on camera. But like, on the pan, it looks more purple. It's tripping me out a little bit, I'm sorry. So that is the purple, which I guess not, purple shade. And with the same brush, I'm going into these up here. And packing those on the apples of my cheeks to blend them back. All of these are Barbie pink, super pigmented not loving them. I have rosacea. I don't like the color of it. So I feel like I'm just kind of recreating that on top of my cheeks when I use blushes that are this pink. Plus, don't they kind of look the same? Let's move on to the next one. All right, so as you probably saw, it didn't go too, too well with the previous two blushes. They were a little bit too pink like extremely pink, very pigmented. Um, if I go over it with a sponge or whatever, I can make it work, but that's just like not my preferred type of blushes. However, now that I have opened them all, I do have faith in the ones that I have not tried yet. So let's go ahead and try them, starting with the shade Cosmic Coral, which is this like brownish pink combination. The pink still looks quite intense. I'm going to try it on the apples of my cheeks right here. Okay, that is not bad. I have it all throughout right here. And with the same brush, I'm just going to go back to the more like brown, orangey part. And we'll try that back here. Good. I like, I like this blush better. Just like I expected. And I am glad it is not that like super strong in your face Barbie pink fuchsia shade. 
that we had going on yesterday. These are better. I'm glad. So now I'm going to kind of mix them together and just go over the whole thing so we can see what that looks like. But I don't want to overdo it. So take a look. This one right here is Cosmic Coral. And like I said, not mad at this one at all. Last but not least, the one that I am now the most excited about because it is the lightest one, starting with the flowers side, which is that cool tone pinky side right here see this is the type of blush i like the one where you just have like a faint flush nothing too in your face you know <laughs> so that's what that first one looks like and i really like it and now i'm going to try this corally shade back here which i'm also hoping will work for me this right here is my favorite Aphrodite Amour, which is the lightest shade, is the one that I would suggest you get if you're interested in trying this collection and you have similar preference in blushes to me. This one I could totally see myself wearing a lot. I could even reach for this one every once in a while, but the previous two that I tried, not for me. These two, yes. In particular, this side right here, which has the Aphrodite Amour shades love this I went ahead and mixed them together to intensify things a bit more but like even more intense I like this color much better than anything I tried yesterday for sure now last but certainly not least something else I'm very excited about which is the Lunar Allure highlighter this is out of the highlighters they released which I believe there were four shades of highlighters this is the lightest one and again all of it is linked down in the description box and I'm just going to go for it. I'm using a refer brush sample that hasn't come out yet but I'm trying it for different things and I seem to be liking it for highlighter application. Wow! <laughs> Look at how pigmented that was and it is kind of like almost a silver I would say. Let me just blend it a little bit. I really want to love it, but I do feel like it enhances my texture a little bit too much. So, ah, oh man, now I wish I would have tried the second shade to see if that was better. This silvery type of tone seems to enhance all of my little pores and texture right here on my cheekbone area. It is really, really beautiful though. I feel like if I was a little bit paler, like if I was my winter self, super pale, I could probably make that work a little better. But right now, while I do really like it, I do feel like it just enhances some texture and pores that I don't necessarily want enhanced, you know? So, meh, I'm a little disappointed at the highlighter. My favorite thing, hands down, from this collection has to be this blush duo, and I loved both blushes that come in here. So if you've never tried Pat McGrath blushes and you were excited for the blush duos because you can get two colors in one, then I would definitely recommend the Aphrodite Amour shade. This was definitely the most flattering on me, in my opinion. I really loved it, and also the softer one. As far as the texture and pigmentation of these, you guys saw they all look very, very natural and they have a lot of pigment to them. I feel like I did this video kind of quick, so let's also go ahead and try the glosses and just take a look right here at how cute this packaging is. I love. I'm going to start with the darker one of the two. I do have a gloss on underneath, but it's kind of clear, so it doesn't matter. The packaging is really cute and all, but kind of hard to apply because the wand is so teeny tiny. At least for me. Okay, gloss with a lot of pigmentation. This is what it looks like. I have too much eyeshadow on for this gloss right now. But imagine me with like a very neutral eye. That's the look. Formula-wise, it feels like the regular Pat McGrath gloss formula, which is my favorite not sticky, nice and glowy, hopefully also long-lasting. Obviously, this one's more nude, so I like it better. <laughs> this one is super cute, right? 
I've officially tried everything I ordered. The blushes are great formula wise, but just a lot of the same shade in my opinion. Like these first two looked identical to me. Maybe on a more tan complexion, you could see the difference of them a little bit more. And they're probably made for a more tan complexion because they're very, very bright pink. As far as the lighter two that I tried, which are the ones that I have on, right now i'm obsessed with this side right here so definitely get aphrodite amore if you have a complexion like mine and you like soft romantic blushes the highlighter in my opinion if you are concerned about texture on your cheeks which is usually my concern with highlighters don't go for it because i feel like the little glittery sparkles make your pores look bigger so yeah, that is my opinion on this collection. I'm slightly disappointed at the color choices because I expected to see a little bit more variety within them when it came to the blushes, but it is what it is. I did end up loving this one here, and I cannot wait to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section down below. So leave me those comments, and don't forget to enter the giveaway if you want to win the blush. Anyways, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching today's video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye-bye.